my name is David Young. I'm a professor of economics at Harvard. My primary field of interest is political economy and development economics. So I work a lot uh, on how authoritarian regimes, especially China, sort of grow, remain politically stable. Uh, what are the forces of stability that keeps a non-democratic country such as China uh, to be stable and what are the forces uh, that generate change in those countries. Um, so the topic of my seminar today is to look at how China has managed to conduct policy experimentation over the last uh, 40 years. So the, the Chinese government sort of do a lot of policy learning and that can potentially help them avoid major mistakes uh, when they devise policies. So, so we're looking at sort of how government is doing this for the last 40 years. And then the punchline is that when you have a policy experimentation in a very large, complicated political bureaucratic environment, it makes learning uh, very, very tricky. So you, you want to get everyone involved uh, with, among local governments to be eager to generate sort of, uh, uh, lessons for the, for the central government, but it also generates a lot of misaligned incentive where the signal the central government might get from the policy extension can be very severely biased. Uh, so we find that a lot of the policy learning in China were very pro-rich region that potentially exaggerated the regional inequality in China because the system was was very much favor to the rich places. And uh, we hope that this will be a lesson uh, uh, for many other developing countries who are trying to learn this institution from China to do a policy expectation. That uh, you, know, you want to uh, design the policy expectation very carefully to make sure that the process don't get captured by misaligned, uh, interested uh, local politicians.